Hello everybody, welcome back to another exciting science video and today we are going to be learning about animal and plant cells. Today's learning objectives for this video are in this video we will learn to identify similarities and differences between animal and plant cells. We will also learn to explain the function of the components in animal and plant cells. Let's get started. Before we get deep into this topic, we are going to be learning about what's inside an animal. Well, we all might know that animals are actually made out of animal cells. But the real question here is what are the animal cells made of? And this goes the same with plants. So we have leaves over here. What are the leaves made of? So we all might know that they're made out of plant cells. But the real question is, what are the plant cells made of? And go ahead and pause this video and write some of your answers down. And we're back. First of all, we are going to be learning about what's inside an animal cell. First, an animal cell has an irregular shape. Next, we are going to be talking about how many components, main components, does an animal cell consist? And go ahead and write your answers down. And we're back, and the answer is four main components, and they are the nucleus. So we have our cell itself, and this is our nucleus. The second main component is the cytoplasm. And the cytoplasm is the thing inside the cell right here. The third main component is the cell membrane. And the cell membrane is the outer layer of the cell. Number four, mitochondria. However, this one is called mitochondrion. So this is the singular form. Next, we are going to be learning about what's inside a plant cell. And in this slide, you will see that a plant cell is way different from an animal cell. First of all, a plant cell has a regular shape and structure, unlike an animal cell, which has an irregular structure. And since a plant cell has a regular structure, this allows them to form them and arrange them like bricks. Next, pause this video and see how many main components does a plant cell have. And we're back and we, the answer is seven main components. And they have, they do have the nucleus, mitochondria, cytoplasm, and the cell membrane, but they have three more components. And we are going to find them out right now. So this is the cell itself and with the mitochondria. And the number one is the cell wall. And this is the cell wall. The second extra component is the chloroplasts. And these are all the chloroplasts. And third, we have the vacuole. And this right here is the vacuole. Next, we all know that each part of the cell plays an important role. And now we're going to be learning about the function of the components. Let's get started. The first component we are going to be learning about is the nucleus. And the nucleus contains the genetic material, which is also known as the DNA, and this genetic material is used to produce new cells. Also, it controls a whole cell. Next, we're going to be learning about the cytoplasm, and the cytoplasm is a jelly-like liquid, and this is where all the chemical reactions take place. Third, the cell wall. So what does a cell wall do? Well, 
The cell wall provides support and this helps strengthen the cell. The cell wall is made out of fiber, which is strong, and this is called the cellulose. The next component we're going to be talking about is the mitochondria. And the mitochondria is where respiration occurs. And respiration is a reaction which produces energy for the organism. Next, we're going to be talking about the chloroplast. And chloroplast is where photosynthesis takes place. Additionally, chloroplast consists of a green substance, which is called chlorophyll. And this substance helps gain energy from the sun. Next, we're going to be talking about the vacuole. A vacuole contains a liquid called cell sap. And this watery liquid is the reason why the cell is firm. Lastly, we're going to be talking about the cell membrane. And this is the boundary around the cell and cell membrane deals with what can come in and what can come out of the cell and remember that the cell wall chloroplast and vacuole are the only components that are only in a plant cell they are not in an animal cell okay everybody now i hope you all can Explain the similarities and differences between animal and plant cells. And I also hope you all can name the different components of the animal and plant cells. And also describe the function of the components in animal and plant cells. This is the bibliography. And I've been using the website or digital textbook Kerboodle. And the images are from Google Images. Thank you.